Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Bad End Theater. And today we are actually going to be focusing on um the hero. Um and we're gonna leave most of them basic. Uh, flee like a coward. On your way to the Overlord's castle, you spot a maiden heading back toward the village. She couldn't have come from the Overlord's castle, could she? This may be the exact maiden you're currently seeking to rescue. You approached her with curiosity. You ask the maiden what she's doing. Doesn't she know that the Overlord's castle is, like, right there? It's dangerous. <laughs> the maiden explains that she spoke with the Overlord, and it turns out the demons never had any diabol diabolical plans to harm the village or anyone in it. Believe her story. You have no reason to assume she's lying to you, even though her story kind of is kind of hard to believe. You feel you should trust her. You tell her you're pretty surprised that everyone has been wrong about demons all along. The township, the, <laughs> the township, the townspeople should be, must be informed of this immediately. The two of them return to the village. They had, they had all been so worried. They. <laughs> They praise you for your bravery. But the maiden quickly sets the record straight. There was nothing she needed to be rescued from in the first place. The villagers look to you for, ex for an explanation. You politely inform them it isn't your story to tell. You merely ran into her on the way to the castle. She explains that the overlord isn't interested in capturing maidens or anything of that sort. The villagers turn to you, again, in disbelief. They aren't being subtle in how little they trust the maiden's story. You, to you totally believe her. Uh, but to placate these fair citizens, you volunteer to speak to the demons personally, just in case. The crowd breaks into hushed whispers. You're too busy thinking what a great great and reliable hero you are to hear what they're saying. The town elder's voice breaks you out of your thoughts. He implores you to meet with the overlord immediately and says, the, says they'll all keep an eye on the maiden until you return. You figure that sounds alright, but the mood is kind of intense for some reason. Did you miss something? You weren't sure what's going on, but you get the feeling it might be bad to leave the maiden on her own. But she suddenly takes off running. Oh. You thought the two of you were in this together. Her actions have convinced the, ta the crowd that she's obviously been a liar in which, and a witch from the start. People are shouting for you to hunt her and her demon friends down already, but that doesn't sound like a very heroic task. You can't help but feel these people were wrong. It's up to you to catch up to her and talk to the demons in order to clear up the mis this misunderstanding. Mind your business. Anyway. <laughs> You valiantly dash after the maiden toward the overlord's castle. The air becomes dark and thick as you enter deep into the demon territory. Evil... Mazma? The fuck is that? No. You realize it's, norm it's just normal smoke. You see the maiden ahead, but she's stopped in her tracks. The overlord's castle is engulfed in flames. You had only taken an eye off the maiden for a second, but she's already disappeared. You get closer to the castle, but the smoke is so thick now, you think of turning back. 
The maiden might need your help, but you can barely see. She could be impossible to find. She could have been lying to you all along. Was this a trap? Would it be worth risking your life on that chance? Your legs feel heavy. No. Going in there would be suicide. You'll return to the villagers and tell them there was nothing you could do. You were too late. The maiden was claimed by the demons. Bruh. What? Are you pleased with your progress so far? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> okay. Dutiful, dutiful. Okay. You are a hero. Bravely slay the demons. Ha! You feel much stronger now. <laughs> On your way to the overlords, I forgot to turn off obedient. Damn it. And she runs from you for some reason. You wonder- <laughs> oh no! <laughs> You wonder what that's all about, but then you remember you're covered in demon blood. No, not wanting to look like you're a crazy person chasing after her or anything, you nonchalantly walk back to the town. As you walk past the town square, you notice the whole village is crowded around. Is the maiden from earlier? She's bound to a wooden stake. The crowd is in a frenzy. Smoke begins to rise, and you stand idly by as flames consume the maiden. She must have done something horrible to deserve that. <laughs> you decide to call it a day and return to your house, but you can't escape the sinking feeling. Maybe you weren't cut out for this role. What the fuck? Spectator and B. Bitch. Okay, so <laughs> there's two there's two <laughs> You talk, she runs from you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um I'll turn off obedient. Skip Slay the creatures, skip. Cut through the demon armory. You gather your courage. This is what must be done in order to rescue the maiden. These were all evil demons anyway. The world was <laughs> is much safer without that with all them gone. Oh my god. That's what you tell yourself while you kill one after another and you're <laughs> you're <laughs> on your way to the overlord's chambers. You find the maiden being held captive by the overlord, just as you suspected. But for some reason, you can't sense anything sinister happening. Oh, fuck. You all look at each other in surprise and confusion. This is no time to hesitate. That's the maiden what's going on. She explains that she came here on her own and was never in any danger. She hast hesitantly asks why you're covered in blood. You don't know how to respond. The overlord moves past you and out the door. You see her to see her army, life army, army in lifeless bloody piles. She's wailing. It's horrible. This is your chance, hero. This is all just a big misunderstanding. <laughs> oh no. 
You hope she'll let this whole thing s slide if you can, if you could just explain yourself. You really try, but the Overlord is inconsolable. She tears you apart, and the maiden watches in silence. As you die, you can't help but think you probably deserved this. <laughs> Tragic hero end. Okay. Here we go. Skip. Kill the creatures. Skip. Kill the creatures. Skip. <laughs> Destroy the overlord. You lunge forward, driving your blade through the evil overlord. She screams, then falls silent. The overlord has been slain. You smile, offering the maiden your hand. She takes it after a slight hesitation. She must be surprised by how strong you are. You escort the maiden home. She's oddly quiet in the trek ba on the trek back to the village. She must be too shy to speak. The villagers are the villagers. <laughs> the villagers are very, very pleased with what a good job you've done, slaying the overlord and saving a hostage. They throw a huge celebration in your name. You are remembered for generations as the greatest hero the village has ever seen. Triumphant hero end. Okay, so that's another. Four endings, okay. Here we go. Skip, kill, skip, kill, skip, apologize. <laughs> or ask what's going on. Skip, stab her. You lunge forward, driving your blade through the evil overlord. She screams, then falls silent. The overlord has been slain. Skip. Well, that's not any different. Um, diplomatic, here we go. Skip. Flee. Skip. Ask if I can be let in. Skip. Ask what's going on. Skip. Oh. Well, shit. No, wait, 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 wait. Um, so let's see. We've got Hungry. Hero begins his story, is dutiful, dutiful, hungry. Okay. So make you hungry. Let's go. Skip. Kill. Skip. Kill. Skip. The overlord appears demanding you <laughs> demanding to know what the hell you're doing murdering all her soldiers. You get straight to the point and ask her where the maiden is. She feigns in ignorance. Uh, a convincing act, but you won't be fooled. If the maiden isn't here, then what happened to her? You can... You can see only one answer. The overlord definitely captured her. In fact, it's possible she's already been devoured. Thinking about the poor maiden's fate fills you with hatred. You fight the overlord with everything you've got. You've become strong from the heart, from the hordes of demons that you took down before. This final battle, <laughs> the overlord is almost no match for you. You cut her to pieces, the overlord has fallen. You breathe a sigh of relief, but your job is not finished yet. Is not yet finished, sorry. You search the castle. Unfortunately, you find no sign of the maiden within the walls. Within its walls, sorry. <laughs> She's not in the walls, guys. <laughs> it's just as you suspected. She must have already been devoured. You feel hollow. 
The great evil has been banished from this world, but what does it ma what does that matter if you were too weak to save someone? You stand alone amidst the carnage and ponder what it means to be a hero. You return to the overlord's remains and wrap her head in the cape in your cape and bring it back to the village. Surely your great victory will be celebrated. Uh, okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, um. So we've got... Diplomatic. Hungry. Bad ending. Okay. Flee. Diplomatic. Skip. The Overlord is alone. You ask about the Maiden, but the Overlord doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Was she really never there? Never here? You wonder what could have happened to her. The Overlord says that she wishes she could help you, but you're the first human that's come here in forever. At least, that she knows of. You think of how, how you probably shouldn't trust her, seeing as she's a demon and all, but you can't really prove she's lying either. You apologize for the intrusion and return home to your village. The maiden was never found. The useless hero. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's a little aggressive. <laughs> okay, and then it was... Um... Rage is the only one in the room. Everything is f fine? Uh, to possess possessive. Possessive. So it's... Skip. Diplomatic. I forgot to turn off hungry. I'm a dumbass. So it's not hungry, not disloyal. It's diplomatic, not dutiful. Not a tyrant. Antisocial possessive. Polite, not obedient. Right? Everything is fine, but she's possessive. Ask them what's going on. Uh, she explains. But the Overlord objects to this. The Maiden tries to tell her that she'll come right back, but the Overlord refuses to hear it. The Maiden seems nervous. As a hero, it's your job to, to mediate situations like these. You tell the Overlord that if she doesn't let the two of you go, you'll have to assume she's evil. You'll be forced to vanquish her. <clears throat> you leave me no choice. The Overlord pauses before suddenly jumping you. You are helpless as she d demolishes you. Disembowels you, sorry. <laughs> With her claws. How horrible. You came all this way only to be met with this cruel fate. You should have destroyed these evil creatures while you had the chance. Your dying wish is for the maiden to somehow make it out of this alive. Well, shit. Disloyal. She's not possessive in that one. She's just fine. Everything's fine, so she's not possessive. Let's go. Skip. I'm like a coward. Ask if they'll let you in. Ask what's going on. You pause when you see a group of suspicious demons standing near the entrance. 
Okay, here it is, here it is. They're talking about assassinating their overlord. This proves to you the demons really are foul creatures. We have to tell her about this. You don't understand what the maiden is thinking. The world is better off with less demons. They're all cold, ruthless creatures that should that should be destroyed. And those same creatures have just noticed you. Noticed you eavesdropping. The maiden takes off to the castle, and you have no choice but to follow. You burst into the overlord's room, and the maiden frantically tries to communicate what you just overheard. A demon underling barges in next, calling you liars. It's followed by a group of a group from the entrance who shifts the blame back onto the little one. These demons only care about themselves. How low can they be? You begin shouting at them, and the whole room dissolves into noise until the overlord yells for, you, for everyone to shut their traps. She threatens them with violence. This overlord is no better than, the, than her subjects. You grip your sword tightly. If you have to cut through everyone here to get this maiden's safety, you certainly will. The group of de demons hissed, hissed to each other before shutting the door, leaving the runt of the litter behind. You glance for another exit, but there isn't one. You have a terrible feeling about this. In an instant, the whole room is in flames. What kind of demonic magic is this? The underling pounds on the door, upset that it's been betrayed. You join it, vowing to slay the cowardly demons on the other side. The next moment, the overlord has been t has taken hold of the underling. It's crying for mercy. She thrusts her claws into her un into her underling's chest, and it lets out a horrible scream. You back away. You won't be next. the next target of her rage. She continues to dig and twist her claws into, the, into its limp body. You can no longer watch. You look to the maiden. She's crying, her hands clasped together in prayer. To have faith in a time like this. You envy her. The two of you, the overlord and the underling corpse, are all consumed by flames. Okay. Resigned hero. <laughs> Merciful. Let's go. Skip. Run. Skip. Be nice. Skip. Ask what's going on. Skip. Is she going to kill it? And kill it as retribution? It continues to cry and make excuses. But the overlord does nothing. To your surprise, she lets it go. Are demons capable of mercy? You guess it doesn't matter now. You'll all burn together. What the fuck? Hero's true end. Man! No matter the perspective, the true ending remains the same. That's what makes it true. You couldn't resist seeing it for yourself, though, could you? I wonder what will happen when you collect them all. Will you give in to despair? Or... I like that... <laughs> I like that it leaves off on or dot 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 question mark. And then the next button you click to continue the game is reset the stage. That's... Oh, the, the the poeticness of that being back to back. Just mm. yes, sir. Okay. Then this one is trusting. Is that hungry? then, or... No, because it can't be hungry, because then she gets eaten. 
There's another trait here that I'm missing. Okay. Well, ending again on the true ending for Hero. Let's uh, go ahead and close this one out. Um, thank you all so much for watching. These are actually getting shorter because I have less to, to go off of in these ones. Um, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. All my content is basically the exact same. Um, and thank you for joining me in the Bad End Theater. Until the next one, have a magical evening and good night.